Each day, we are exposed to a wide assortment of numerical information, which often has a profound impact on our day-to-day -day life. Statistics is now regarded as one of the most important tools for taking decisions in the midst of uncertainty. In fact, there is hardly any branch of science today that doesn't make use of statistics. And that is why in recent years, statistics is said to be the most sought after course. And statistician is the fastest growing profession and its demand is predicted to grow 33% by 2026. In the current scenario, there may not be enough skilled professions to satisfy the need for statistical analysis and data mining. This video is divided into three segments. First segment is the introduction to statistics. Second, application of statistics in various fields. Third and final segment is regarding the career options as a statistician. Now let's move on to the first segment. What are statistics? The word statistics conveys a variety of meanings to different people. To some, stat is an imposing form of mathematics. To others, it is all about tables, charts and figures, etc. that they commonly find in the newspapers, online magazines, journals, reports, etc. Even though there have been many definitions um, regarding statistics, Croxton and Corden have given a very simple and concise definition of statistics. So in their view, statistics may be defined as the collection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. Now, this definition clearly points out the important stages in a statistical investigation. Now let's have a look at the stages, different stages of a statistical investigation. So the first stage is of course the data collection. Utmost care must be exercised in collecting data because they are the foundation of statistical analysis. If there is any mistake in the collected data, the conclusions drawn can never be reliable. Now the second and the third stage that is organizing and analyzing data. Data collected from the published source are generally in organized form. However, large mass of figures that are collected from survey needs to be organized in a particular manner and should be presented in form of diagrams and graphs. So the next step is analysis. The purpose of analyzing data is to dig out information which are useful for decision making. So some of the commonly used methods for statistical analysis are measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion, correlation, regression, ANOVA, etc., which we will discuss later. Now, the final step is interpretation, which is a drawing conclusion based on the anal analysis that we have done in the third stage. But the interpretation of data is a difficult task and hence it requires a high degree of skill and expertise. Working as a statistician means dealing with data and helping to find practical solutions to problems. If you are keen on numbers, critical thinking, and if you have a problem solving skills, this could be a career path for you. So you should have, as a statistician, you should have a strong foundation in mathematics and statistics, logical thinking and ability to comprehend key facts, ability to interact with people from various fields to understand the problems, strong background in statistical computing, ability to stay updated on the recent literature and statistical software. Now, coming to the software packages and languages, there are, I have uh, listed out some uh, packages and languages here. 
so we'll check which all packages are used for statistical analysis uh, the first one is IBM SPSS. So SPSS is widely used program for statistical analysis. Many of features of SPSS statistics are accessible via pull down menu. The software was acquired by IBM and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a very um, simple package. Um, it can be used by non statisticians too. So the second one is SAS. SAS is a statistical software developed by SAS Institute for data management, advanced analytics, multivariate analysis, business intelligence, criminal investigation, and uh, predictive analytics. SAS programs have data steps which retrieve data and manipulate data. And they have PROC steps which analyze data. Each step consists of a series of statements. Um, regarding the packages and languages, we will do another class. So here I'm just going through the, you know, uh, the introductory part of uh, software packages and languages. The next one is R programming. So R is a programming language and it's a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics. R is widely used among statisticians and data miners for developing statistical softwares and data analysis. And as of February 2020, R ranks uh, 13th, um, that is in the popularity of programming languages. And it's very uh, popular nowadays and uh, all the statisticians are uh, keen, very keen in using R. And again, there is one more that is called Python. This is also very popular nowadays and uh, we can it's reliable too so python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language uh, python's design philosophy emphasizes code readability with its notable use of significant white space the application of statistics is so vast and ever expanding there is hardly any field whether it be trade commerce or economics biology physics astronomy artificial intelligence meteorology etc where statistical tools are not applicable so let us examine in this segment let us examine in detail a few fields in which statistics is applied actuarial science so it is the discipline that applies mathematical and statistical methods to assess risk in the insurance and finance industries. Operations research. Operational research is an interdisciplinary branch of applied mathematics and formal science that uses methods such as mathematical modeling, statistics and algorithms to arrive at optimal or near optimal solutions to complex problems. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence or AI so uh, this is one of the upcoming fields uh, of uh, today's world and uh, here statistics skill concepts are um, intensively used during the generation of data development of algorithms and evaluations of result biostatistics it is a branch of biology that studies biological phenomena and observations by means of statistical analysis and includes medical statistics. So there you should need a thorough knowledge of biology. Business analytics. Business analytics is a rapidly developing business process that applies statistical methods to data sets uh, to develop new insights and understanding of business performance and opportunities. Demography. Demography is the statistical study of population. Here also we use statistical methods to, um, to find out uh, the characteristic of a dynamic population that is the uh, one that 
changes over time or space. Psychometry, which is again related to psychology. Uh, it is the theory and technique of educational and uh, psychological measurement of knowledge, uh, abilities, attitudes and personality traits. So all these uh, qualities, these are all qualitative data and uh, here with, by using statistical techniques we can give a measurement for these uh, qualitative data and uh, by giving a measurement uh, we can also analyze and arrive at a conclusion which is reliable reliability engineering it is a study of the ability of a system or a component to perform its required functions under stated conditions for a specified period of time Statistical signal processing uh, utilizes the statistical properties of signals to perform signal processing tasks. Geostatistics is a branch of geography that deals with the analysis of data from disciplines such as uh, geology, hydrogeology, hydrology, meteorology, etc. Then the use of statistics in epidemiology. Uh, it is a discipline devoted to the collection, analysis and interpretation of numerical data using the theory of probability, concerned particularly with the methods of drawing inferences about characteristics of a population from examination of a random sample. Agricultural statistics. The principal tasks involved in agricultural statistics are the collection, processing and analysis of statistical data that characterize the current status and development of agriculture and the fulfillment of production plans. So, so we have seen that uh, statistics is widely used in a variety of fields and uh, so uh, the career as a statistician uh, will also be um, depending on the fields uh, that they are planning to go to. So a statistician practices the science of using data to make decisions. Unlike most professions, statistics can be applied to a vast number of fields um, like they can apply uh, statistics to environmental science, public health sector, to sports, from artificial intelligence to demography and epidemiology. In short, you can apply statistics to a lot of fields. Um, you can apply statistics to everything which is under sky and beyond. So let us have a look at uh, the careers. You can, um, you, you, you can work as an analyst, professor, data scientist, biostatistician, research scientist. You can write the, if you are planning to um, settle in India, you can uh, write the uh, Indian Statistical Service Examination. And uh, you can, uh, if you are uh, passing the exam, you can get, you will get a degree which is, uh, which is equivalent to IAS and yeah it is a very prestigious prestigious job in india you can become an actuarial scientist a banker and of course there are a lot of tests or examinations in india where uh, if you go through uh, the test and if you are able to pass the test you can get a uh, good government jobs so in government agencies, if you are hired as a statistician, your designation will be research of mostly your designation will be research officers, statistical assistant or investigator. And yes, of course, we have uh, said about the ISS examination and then um, um, earlier. And mostly your duties will be uh, to develop analyze and measure socio-economic aspects of, um, of the particular country where you are working and 
these are the agencies who will hire you um, ministry of economic affairs planning board national sample survey labor bureau central electricity authority now coming under the healthcare sector uh, your designation will be biostatistician or biometrician um, you will be employed by the pharmaceutical companies and uh, of course the public health agencies now your duties will be to check whether a particular drug is success can successfully treat a disease and yes there will be studies related to epidemiology too then research and development so research and development will be you know in almost every field so there your designation will be again research officer scientist or product evaluator some of the fields that are um, repeatedly hiring um, statisticians are artificial intelligence finance sector agriculture sector and banking sector sector uh, there are more fields that uh, hire you or that will hire a statistician so these are the career options if you manage to um, understand the concepts of statistics and uh, if you are willing to uh, if you are willing to take your career to a new level um, and if you are uh, planning a career in statistics this is uh, what you will and these are the options so so i have only listed some of the options and uh, yes so here I would like to suggest <clears throat> a few books that you can refer for further reading and understanding statistical concepts in depth. So these are some books, Fundamentals of Mathematical Statistics, which is written by S. E. Gupta and V.K. Kapoor, Statistical Method by S. E. Gupta. I would suggest these two books uh, as it is very simple um, and simple and easy to understand. So for beginners, I would suggest these two books. And later on, you can move on to books like Advanced Calculus with Applications in Statistics, then uh, Epidemiology and Biostatistics. Those who have, uh, those who are interested in biostatistics or biology, they can refer these books. Some of these books are also available in the, um, you can uh, download the PDF of some of, the book, some of these books. Um, and yes, of course, artificial intelligence, then fundamentals of classical statistical thermodynamics and operations research. So, so we, these are some of the books I would suggest for further reading. Uh, there are other books too, but um, for as a beginner, you can uh, highly depend on these books. I hope all of you have enjoyed this session. Thank you.